you see me silent <clears throat> right now because I'm thinking of a way to make sure I say this the right way so that everyone can understand something very important here. I think what we've been told like <clears throat> today is that nobody wants love anymore, right? Nobody wants somebody they could talk to about the moon and the stars. Nobody wants someone that they could connect with on a deeper level. Nobody wants somebody that they, <clears throat> first of all, nobody's gonna get someone who is um, like them and who will connect with them in a way that they've never been connected to anyone before in their lives. But that's a big ass lie because I've, I've had, it's so interesting. I have many conversations with many people, like especially here on Instagram on my um dms hello everyone and there'll be some guys and even women that when you look at them and you see their profiles you see how they are you think maybe they're stuck up or they're they're not um <clears throat> or they're bad people or you know they they're players or whatever the image that that the image that you perceive of these people is and then i've had conversations with them deep, meaningful conversations with a lot of people and my time here on this earth. And I realized something. It's usually those people that we look at that are so stuck up and that are so, I'm too good for this earth. They look like that, but actually in all seriousness, they had to detach themselves from a lot of people, situation and things to protect their hearts because when they were giving themselves fully to others, they were being... I'm hearing manipulated and lied to and so a lot of us have like <clears throat> come into our own like, like hermit mode world where we sit back and we don't trust a lot of people and it's not in a I don't trust no one kind of way it's more of a sense of being wise and smart about <clears throat> excuse me who you're interacting with and who you're dealing with that's a big lie that the 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 world is telling us is that there are not people like us that there are not people who are willing to love and willing to be faithful and willing to be committed and that's a lie because a lot of us are sitting here right now and you know raise your hand if you feel like this and we know we're good people we know we're faithful we know we're loyal okay maybe we went through our stages where we did fuck boy shit too but now like we see ourselves and we're like i'm faithful hey babe I'm faithful, I'm loyal, I, I'm somebody that would do anything for someone I love, right? And you're forgetting that all the good people that would do anything for someone and would give, <clears throat> would work their ass off to make a living for people and to help them financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you're forgetting that a lot of them are sitting at home right now thinking that there's nobody else out there like them and that's the problem because there are people like you. There are people around. It's not your fault that the person that you were dealing with for, I'm hearing, eight years, 10 years, it's not your fault that they showed you a version of humanity that you today has destroyed your ability to find love in the most powerful way because love is out there there are people who are genuine there are people who are loyal there are people who are kind there are people who are giving there are people who will love you to the ends of this earth they will love you <clears throat> whether you're fat ugly skinny poor rich they will love you no matter what and one of the biggest lies we are ever told is to find someone <clears throat> excuse me that makes you happy and that's the problem and that's the biggest issue we have with humanity. We're looking for other people to make us happy. We're looking for situations to make us happy. Happiness has to come from within first. It has to be in here first. When you find the happiness in you, it immediately vibrates around you. And the people that are not vibrating or resonating with your frequency, they can't even be around you because they can't deal with the fact that you're happy. And when people are finding happiness outside of themselves you're not supposed to find someone who makes you happy you're supposed to be happy and find someone to add on to that happiness you know what i'm saying to you because oftentimes we get trapped in these situations and these relationships where it's almost like we are so used to being treated like shit that when someone starts to treat us good we don't know how to handle it 
How many people, how many women personally or men personally do you know that had someone good? I'll raise my hand. I was one of them. I had a couple of really good guys and I shitted on their whole life. Like, the fuck out of here, bitch. Like, you're my bitch right now. You see what I'm saying? Then I had some real piece of shit, fucking real fucking clown circus front row actors. You know what I'm saying? They were the front row motherfuckers okay okay they stay was the fucking the main clown attraction and i was like oh my god i love him i can't let him go because i wasn't aware of how being treated right and a lot of it stemmed from growing up and being spoken to certain ways by the men and the family like being like hey you're stupid you're ugly you're fat you know and I'm not blaming anyone because that's just a natural thing. You know, when we grew up, especially if you were born in 82 less or whatever, you know, your family wasn't like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you. Good job. They weren't coming to your fucking talent shows. They weren't coming to school all excited because you grad. They, they're like, OK, you graduated. This is what you're supposed to do. What the fuck am I going to you want? You want a cookie? You know what I'm saying? A lot of us grew up like that with families that were they were tough. They were tough. They were tough. And then we started dating people and we grew up with these family members that were tough. And then we started dating people and we thought that that's how you should be spoken to. And then when someone spoke nice to us, we're confused by it. And we allow mistreatment from our partner, from someone you live with. Like you're sleeping with the whole devil on your bed. You're waking up in the morning and the demon's right next to you. The demon's not floating around. It's sleeping in your bed next to you. Because you are allowing that shit to. Oftentimes people that are in the light, they attract someone who's in the darkness. Hmm? Maybe you're not ready to hear this. But <clears throat> if you're in your home, hi Brie, if you're in your home, and you know you're the light. You know it. You know you're good. Like you're a good person. You're loyal. You're faithful. You do everything right. Like whatever so-called right or wrong is. But the person living with you just keeps sucking all your motherfucking energy. This motherfucker will suck you dry. Or this bitch will suck you dry until she gets enough or he gets enough food. In his system or in their system. I see some people tuning out. You know why? Because that's them right now. They just woke up to the demon this morning. I said, I'm getting out of this live. I'm uncomfortable. That's okay. That's okay. But if you're still here and you're listening, the universe wants you to know you don't have to be with that person no more. You don't have to accept that kind of anger and aggression towards you and when someone comes to you and shows you real love real love yeah i'm talking real love man i'm not talking about this image that we have portrayed of love i'm talking about the kind of love when you two can make love giggle joke and laugh and tell each other i don't like that do this baby do this please i don't like that and it's okay it's accepted it's not looked at like, oh my God, I'm fucking you right now. Can you tell me you don't like that later? No, I got to tell you right now that you're on top of me and your penis is inside of my vagina. I don't like that. What? There's something wrong with that? Is there something wrong with you giving your man head and you ain't doing a good job and him being like, babe, not like that. I like it like this. If you get up and be like, motherfucker. Then you have a toxic issue within your soul that you need to really look into. Relationships are supposed to be open communication. They're supposed to be, baby, I like that. Okay, keep doing it. Okay, I don't like that. But they keep doing it. They talk to you like it. <sighs> Bro, I imagine the shit I've seen lately. How can two people live in the same home with their children, their pets, whatever, and hate each other? And hate each other. I'm staying with them for the kids. Okay, that's nice. Your children are seeing their parents hating each other. Do you think that that's normal? Do you, do you want to force this relationship to continue? 
Do you want to force this relationship to continue? Okay. What about when you tell them good news and they don't get excited for you at all? That's the most toxic bitch ever. She got to go. Let me explain something to you. I'm going to tell you a secret about, about how a person's supposed to be in a relationship. When you do something, it could be this small. Like, let's say your man, let's, let's make this joke, Professor Crime, since you're a rapper. Let's say your man came home and showed you a track he made. And he was like, eeny, meeny, my no mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Bitch, you better rap that motherfucking nursery rhyme all day long around the house. Babe, I'm listening to your song. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If she's not your biggest fan, your biggest supporter, if they ain't your biggest fan, your biggest supporter in all areas of your life, I'm listen, I'm talking about the person when you cook a dinner and you sit there and you make that shrimp right and you cook that rice perfect and it comes out like a five-star meal and that shit is so good and then they help you take care of your child and, you, and you, this person don't turn around and be like, wow, baby, you know, what do you want me to do tonight? Because what you did today, mm, that was sexy. You know what I'm saying? She got to go. She got to go. Listen, this is a message. This is a message. I give messages to those because when I'm sit sitting here and I'm looking at my life and remembering all the shit I did to people and all the shit people did to me in relationships. And I said, I'm going to stay single for a while. I got an 11-year-old daughter who's my world. And if I meet somebody and my daughter goes, I don't like him. I don't like him. I'm not going to talk to that person anymore. You have to understand children are very intuitive. If your child does not fall in love with the person that you're dating the way you fall in love with them, they got to go. Do you, it's, 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 it's about sacrifice, baby. You know, when is it going to be? It's about me and it's my life and I want to be happy and fuck my kid. Fuck your kid. Your kid did not ask to be on this earth with you. You decided to have them. You feel me? It has to be a co cohesive relationship. Let me tell you something about cheating. What people don't understand, people be like, no, some men are happy and they cheat. And that's not true. You know how I know? Because I'm just like a dude. I, I think I'm a woman. I got titties. I got a vagina. But I think like a man. And, th and that is one of my greatest gifts, my greatest qualities. I think like a dude. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're not feeding me, fucking me, and shutting the fuck up, and you get on my fucking nerves, you gotta go. And Or that, or if you really want to stay with me and you're forcing me to be in this relationship, I might have to cheat on you. I don't cheat personally, but I'm saying to you as... Listen, ladies, men are very simple creatures, and we are very complicated creatures. We make everything complicated. They just want you to feed them, suck their dick once in a while, fuck them, suck their dick every other night at least i'm just i'm just gonna say because for me as i as i'm just saying this is a personal experience it has to be like every other night you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be every night maybe your neck hurts on tuesday you know you go about it on wednesday cook them some dinner stop complaining about every little fucking thing because we love to complain know what you want and show them that you're a boss too because but not too bossy okay there's a trick okay women men whoever's watching there's a trick with men that i've learned when you're too bossy and you're too like in control it it belittles them and makes them feel like less of a man and you, this could go with gay guys, a woman and a man, a girl with a, with a, a I was going to say dyke, that's an old word, but a, 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 st a stud, whatever the fuck you call it. Everybody's got different titles today. I don't even can't keep up no more. When you demasculate somebody who's in a masculine position and authority and, and feels like they're masculated and for same thing goes with the women, if you make them feel like not like a woman and you, you start treating them like a dude and they start acting like a dude and you get mad about it, it's there's roles. What people forgot because everybody's so busy giving themselves, you know, identifying as such. People are forgetting the roles, the, the roles that worked for humanity from the beginning. Men are men, women are women. You know, in some cultures, the women go out and they make the money and they and they do the feeding. In other cultures, the men, um, the men are the opposite. It's all different. It's all different everywhere. But what I will tell you right now, if you meet somebody who's more masculine than you and you try to 
overpower that person or you meet someone i love you Muzi, or you meet someone who's less masculine you see what i'm saying too there's roles there's roles no matter how you play it you could say whatever you want there are roles on this on this on this earth and we're forgetting to play those roles people are not traditional no more nobody's traditional not say women should work i'm in independence all that i love all that come on you're talking to me i'm the most independent person you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm saying that but we're forgetting about like tradition and and what kept people together toxicity right everybody wants to here's the thing the ego is a funny thing man i look at some instagram videos and girls are like this for like two minutes straight, bitch. How long are you going to show me your face and your titties and your head? It's the ego. <laughs> it's the ego, bitch. Like, control your ego. I can see the demon of ego floating through there. <laughs> okay, bitch. You just showed me every angle. How you look like when you're fucking dick from the bottom. What you look like when you fucking stub your toe. Calm the fuck down. Everybody's an ego fucking monster. Everybody's a celebrity and a star. <laughs> That's the problem. This is why relationships aren't working out. Because everybody wants to be the star of the show. And they never want to support the leading actor. You feel what I'm saying to you? That's the problem. When you don't support the, the leading actor and you can't... Okay, people play roles. So, some people will... At one point in your life, you might be the successor and you might be the one doing all the things that are successful and, and, and you're making the money and you're doing all that. Be on the sidelines, support that person. Then the roles may switch. That person may not be doing it and you might be doing it. If I can't be with somebody, you know, guys, you know, I was on TV, you know, all that stuff. When I was dating men, instead of them just standing in the back and being like, yo, let me take that picture of you guys. They, they were like all up in the mix, like, homie, like chill back like sit back for a second like these are florina's fans <laughs> like you can you just stand here and be a you know photographer for five minutes they would not and then when fans would come hug me kiss me say hi to me you know how i'm mad they would get jealousy jealousy that's to me is crazy because if i was with somebody right now and they were so-called famous and people were trying to take i'll be like let me take the picture no no stand don't stand like that bitch i'll have them looking good in the picture jealousy everybody wants to be the lead actor of the play and you know what sometimes you just gotta play the fucking supporting role sometimes you gotta play the extra sometimes you gotta play the background people this is where we go wrong in relationships why do you have to win would it i didn't i didn't know this was a competition if i wanted to enter a boxing match i'd get in a boxing ring this is not what this is about. This is about two people who came together in hopes that life will enhance for the both of us as we connected our souls with one as a union. And that's why it's so important right now. And I'm going to say your guides are saying to you, watch who you fuck. Watch who you're sleeping with. Watch who you're giving it up to. <laughs> really watch it. Energy is so real, you guys. <sighs> Hey, listen, I don't know if you ever had sex with someone. Let's just, let's make an example. I don't know if you've ever had sex with someone. Yeah, exactly, King. Have you ever had sex with someone and for like two weeks later you're drained? Just let it click for a second. Click, 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 boom. Ever happened to you? I know it's happened to me and I know it's happened to other people. I'm not the only one. And that's because energy transfer transferring is very real. Okay? Sex is like, people think it's just... I used to think it was just something you do and just get a nut off. I never even got a nut off. How about that? <laughs> I was like, just trying to, you know, chasing the next nut. Like, I don't know how, how else to explain it to you. I was just chasing the next nut. You know what I'm saying? But the nut never came. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It was always... Womp, 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 you know? And it wasn't the fact that the person wasn't good in bed. It was me, emotionally, where I was, fucked up in the head. You feel me? You got to watch your energy right now. Your guides really want you to know. First of all, sit back and watch people observe. Be the observer. I told you guys. <clears throat> fuck, when I just wake up, my throat just like it closes up. 85% of people are followers. 15% are creators. They create. 
and f and five percent of the people are observers. You could be the creator, but most creators are taking advantage of the followers. In a good way, some. In a bad way, others. The observers watch everyone work. They're watching everybody. You know, it's like the all-seeing eye, the watchers. They're just watching the little pebbles on the floor and all the little ants running back and forth, confused, don't know why they keep going back and forth. Just like you're a fucking bee, just constantly making honey for the beehive. And you're fucking over here feeding fucking greedy humans. You see what I'm saying, Leo? <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, I would really watch who I interact with these days. <clears throat> Especially if you have children. Whoa, let me just... <clears throat> this is a message for you. If you have kids who live with you or a child or whatever it is, and you're dating someone and you want to sleep with them or something, you know, you do what you want. You're an adult. Go somewhere else and do it. Don't do it in your home because people carry energetic attachments. And when negative energy sends children around, they will attach to the home because they want to suck the energy out of little children. And dark spirit tends to be jealous of um, children a lot of times. Um <clears throat> Because children carry a very high vibration and they get very envious of it. So don't take your kids to no, no cemeteries without saging them after. And do not take them to funerals. Especially don't take them to funerals. They don't even need to be there, honestly. Keep them at home. And don't. And when before you go home from a funeral or cemetery, always like cleanse yourself or stop somewhere. Get something to eat. Well, my hair looks brown right here. That's so weird. That's so cool. Um, you know, be be aware of energy. I, 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 like, I'm not here to scare nobody, but if you've ever dealt with your own demons, your own negative thoughts, and you've ever been up and down in your life, and you've ever gone through dark, and if you haven't, then why are you in this life? Like, what? We, we devils and angels. We were the devil. We're trying to become the angel now, you know? We're, we're so-called, not in a biblical sense, repenting our souls. You know, you had to have been some form of bad and want to be good if you're over here resonating with my messages because you're looking at someone who was the devil and now the angel. And you can do that. You can transform. Don't ever let nobody tell you. Even if, you, <clears throat> even if you're born of the darkness, which we all are because technically God said let there be light. So that means before all that, there was darkness. So we're all technically from the darkness. And it is our, up to us and free will if we want to stay with the dark or stay with the light. <clears throat> I was always an angel too, but I also became a fallen angel at one point in my life too. But I had to do that. I had to experience that in order to ascend my soul. In order for me to become... A higher form of myself I had to go through the lower forms of myself in order for me to find the light within me I had to play with the darkness heavily and that's okay because guess what when you do that when you play with the darkness and you get to learn what's in the dark yo <clears throat> hells are real hells you heard me right plural hells hells there's not one hell where everybody goes burns that's this is the state of mind we're talking about. I've seen in my dream state in the astral. I've visited different parts of heavenly places, different parts of hell places. And just as above, so below, as on earth, is on spirit. It's the same shit. So people that are living in the shitty <coughs> existence and doing... <coughs> you motherfucker. Let's clear it in the throat chakra, please. <coughs> people that are living in the in the darkness and... In their mind here and they live in depressive states and, and stay in there here they do the same thing in the spirit world and I know that because a lot of times when I'll go to do readings if one of somebody's like family member isn't really so many so much healed a lot of times when I communicate with them I can sense the low vibration and almost like my body just gets real like oh like real they have to learn lessons and move over from the darkness to light so called right and that's just a metaphor the darkness to light it's not always um technically what you're what you're picturing dark black and then white light that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying by darkness and light is like the dark heart to the lighter heart right there's levels to heaven and there's levels to hell okay there's this isn't by your bibles your qurans i'm not making this up this is an energetic thing but you know it's really funny because um I was, I was earlier this morning, I woke up and I was like, you know, I'm just calm today. I'm, I'm at peace a little bit more because I, I, I you know, there's a lot of f 
so-called failures we look back at, right? Let's say you had a lot of money, you spent a lot of it, you were irresponsible. And, and I remember somebody last night texted me, somebody that I know that's that's important to me, texted me something about money and and they, they won something and I'm not going to get too far into it. They won something and boom, 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 boom. And I started writing to them and they said to me, please do me a favor. Oh God, don't preach. And I was like, I'm not preaching. I'm telling you a message. So pay attention to it. And I realized something that this is what it is with us. We all get these messages for people we love, people we care about. But I'm going to tell you right now from, from myself to you, when you are talking to someone, if you feel a powerful message come in, tell them. Because at the end of the day, even if they don't listen, they, they listened. They got the message. Tell them, yo, don't do that, man. That's, And also, if somebody's like, fuck my wife, I hate that bitch, or fuck my husband, try to talk to them into working it out first. Like, somebody called me <clears throat> two days ago, and I was in the car. And he was like, yo, let me ask you a question. Like, I'm not happy in my marriage. I'm not happy at all. What should I do? So I said, you want my answer, or you want the answer you want to hear? And he was like, no, I want your answer. That's why I called. I said, the first thing you should do is try to the very end to make it work and if it, if it don't work then then it's time to let it go like try everything you can therapy and all that bullshit you know what i'm saying try it all <clears throat> and then if that don't work then let go don't tell people right away well fuck that motherfucker fuck that bitch you're being toxic stop it because family's fat like people got you know what i'm saying unless you know this has been going on for 10 years and this person keeps talking about the same thing over and over and over again. That's a different story. I'm not talking about that. You're welcome, Jilly. Anyway, message from spirit. You know, <clears throat> surrender a little bit too in relationships as well. If you come into contact with someone who likes things a certain way, if you don't like the way that person likes things, then that's not someone you're ever going to like. So it, it, your com com the difference between compromise and just being shitted on are two different worlds. Like, compromisation means, okay, you know what? They don't like the color red. I like the color light red. You know what I'm saying? Even though you don't like the color red. You know what I'm saying? Not, no. Oh, f okay, fine. I'll, from now on, I'll say my favorite color is red because it's your favorite color. That's not compromising. That's just being told what the fuck to do. And nobody likes that. Nobody, nobody with a sound mind and heart. Nobody who's in control and in their own power. It likes somebody to control them. So take a look at what, what, what you're dealing with in your relationships and your your connections to your family, your, your roots to your job, uh, whatever you're doing in life. People in their own power do not like to be controlled. Why do you think so many people who are in their own power cannot hold a nine to five job? Because they don't want to be told what to do all goddamn day. Fuck you mean go over there and fucking file that paper. No, you fucking file that paper. And it's not an ego thing. For some of us, it's... <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's just not... Mm, nope, I didn't come here to be the earth slave to make you billions of dollars and then sit back and watch myself fucking deteriorate over your fucking success. I'm sorry, no. That's why we have to try to figure out what are we good at? What do we love? What are we fucking experienced at? What is the most creative thing we know how to do? And then work with that. Work with it. Do things with love and light in your heart and, you know, detox your body if you're... Look, man, everybody, everybody gets high sometimes, you know? That's how you feel when you're feeling low. I know, so take a deep breath and let it go. I know, man. Like, um, <clears throat> everybody, I'm surprised. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, everybody's either smoking weed, popping perks, doing something, drinking. Not everybody, but a lot of people are. <clears throat> but I, I really want to tell you just see if you could do without that for a bit. You know what I'm saying? See what see if you could do without that for a bit. I mean, I I, I really I'm not against people like going out, having dinner, having one drink or whatever, but you know, I already know if it gets to two drinks, three drinks, four, I'm on the motherfucking flow. <laughs> That's why I stay away from all that shit. But anyway, so I love you guys and I hope you guys um work with your higher selves today because the portal did open yesterday and it is still 
very open, very, very alive, very much giving you messages, very much your guides are going to be guiding you right now, especially right now. Look for the signs, okay? I don't care how hood you are, who you are, where you're from. If you never did this before, today I want you to look for the signs. Pay attention to the small details because your guides will communicate with you through them. Find a penny on the floor. That's your somebody who's a male on the other side talking to you. You go outside and a bird just happens to pass by you. Look up that meaning of that bird, okay? The signs confuse you. It doesn't need to confuse you. You know why they're confusing you? Because you're trying to look too detailed into what does this mean. So if let's say you're going about your day and today you see one, two, two, right? You're like, oh, I feel like that means something. Look up the number one, two, two. See what it means and then see what that means to you. Like right now I'm seeing the number 22. Now, you will know if the number two, two, two comes and shows up to you if your life is already in balance. Hear me out. If your life is already in balance and you feel like everything's in balance and you're feeling aligned with and in tune with your spirit, okay? With your good, higher vibration, good, bad, whatever, your good vibrations, your higher self, and you see the number 222, that message right there will let you know that things are aligning for you more now. The, the power of the 222, the balance, the higher vibration are aligning with you now. If you're going through crazy shit and you're like oh my god everything's fucked up i don't know what to do and you have in these kind of moments and you see one 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 that usually means honey you're going through an awakening it's called a spiritual awakening and they could either be real peaceful or real crazy but if you're going through crazy and you see one 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 it's telling you it's okay this too shall pass there's new beginnings coming with this chaos and destruction if you're working on something or you're trying to find a job, you're trying to get your shit right financially and you start seeing a number four everywhere, four, 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 four. That means your angel and your and angel and your guides have heard your prayers and they are going to help you find this position. You will be okay. You will get this position. You will find this job. Stop worrying. You see 333 right now and you're working on your higher self. You're meditating. You're contemplating letting go of the past. You want to clear cut and remove cords that don't serve your highest good no more. And you keep seeing 333, 33. 33 is the code to God energy. That means source is working through you and with you and sending you assistance. Stay focused and stay grounded. The number 33 can also represent evil because it is something that shows up in some things where, let's say, there's you ever seen products? Go ahead and take a look at products and watch the number 33 show up on good products, amazing products, healthy, beneficial to you, and then really not good products. I'd be looking at some foods in, in the shopping aisles and I'd be like, oh shit, look at this corn syrup, 33%. You feel me? <clears throat> pay attention to the signs you know you're being guided all the time let's say you're food shopping too ask your guides to tap you and tune in with you let's say you're food shopping you're like yo i want to get this is this good for me or not put the item next to your stomach or your body and and, and listen to your body what is it saying do you feel like an uncomfortable feeling leave that product back there you feel a good feeling use it it's good for you you listen to your guides. Ask them. They will always communicate if you're willing to listen. Okay, guys. I love you. Love and light. I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a wonderful day today. Stay grounded. Stay focused. Um, I would say get out in nature if you can today too as well. I'm going to try to do that too. I just have a lot of laundry to do today. But um, after that, I'm going to go ride my bike for a little bit and just walk outside in, in the nature. And then not sure. Why is this like this? Because I live right by the motherfucking mountain. The mountain. Look at that. I painted that and it's got black tourmaline on it. This shit is dope. And sage and sweet grass. You see those little pieces of wood? It's got sage and sweet grass. I don't even care about the painting. I just wanted those things hung up on the wall. Alright guys, I will see you. Remember, it is it is well within your soul. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace to the Middle East. Bye, guys. And stop watching the news. Do yourself a fucking favor, man. Fake news. Bye.